Hi there, welcome back. I hope you're having a good week. I wanted to tell you something. Uh, I don't normally share lots of things about the wife and my children and my parents. I tell some stories, but probably I don't go um, into depth on a lot of that. But something important happened and I wanted to share it with you because I've told you stories, many stories in the past from my dad. My dad passed recently and he was almost 96 years old, so he almost made it to 96. Um, a good long life. Um, at the end we were not we were glad though that dad did pass because he was really struggling towards the end. And he was healthy, pretty healthy, almost up to the end. But then he had a stroke um, and then he lost his vision. So he went, uh, he couldn't see. And it made life very challenging in every way um, too. And dad was diabetic also. So it was getting to be a lot. Um, but we celebrated his life. Um, we were so glad to have him as a father, my sisters and I. Um, I hope you feel that way about your own parents. We all have these gifts in our life, our parents, and, and when they're gone, sometimes we, we even remember things we hadn't thought about in a long time. And at Dad's funeral, I was able to talk for a couple minutes about him, and I just pointed out that Dad, uh, first of all, was not a perfect man, uh, that he was something better. He was a very good man. And what I meant by that was, you know, that he was a human, he was a human who had mistakes too, and that was good though, because he had a lot of qualities we wanted to work towards but we didn't have to be perfect. Um, but he was a great guy, a man of faith, right up to the end, he really was. And he also had qualities of appreciation. He was grateful for everything. I mean everything, from driving a car, to seeing nature, to having a sandwich, to meeting people. He was grateful about everything he came across in his whole day. It really made for a happy, a happy life for him, and it was a great example. Uh, in addition, he really loved people more than money and all those kinds of things. I think I may have told you my dad was a barber his whole life and he was very hard working and he loved talking to people. And that was another thing too, speaking of barbering, a hard working quality is something he passed on too. So uh, we hate to lose him, we think of him every day, uh, but we did lose dad not long ago. We still have mom though and she's uh, just turned 98. So um, I'd love to hear your stories about your mom or your dad and maybe a lesson or two that are very important or a memory that you have that, uh, about your own parents. Until next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.